Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are pretty tired. Thanks for everybody getting on. Josh, it's good to see you. Nice hair. It's getting pretty intense. It's a good look. And Adri, good to see you always. So uh, let's see. I think we're all updated, like Otter had some sugar issues where um, they're not staying as high as they should. So let's see. The, I think the lowest they were was a 39, and they're supposed, like, I'm not sure where they're supposed to be, but they want him to, like, get above 60, whatever that is, um, two tests in a row before they start weaning him off. So right now he's had an IV in him since yesterday for sugar, water. Um, so that's always in there going. It was at a, uh, a 10 level. They talked about going up to 12.5, but they decided to skip up to 15 this morning, um, like a couple hours ago. The 15 um, isn't great for just like regular IV, so they're going to run a pick line, which is a line, well, I'm probably the only one that learned what that was today, anyways, so I don't have to explain it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are still in um, at the NAC at BJC. But he, uh, Otter's going to get transferred over to um, Children's NICU um, in the very near future, like minutes or an hour. And then uh, Kirsten and I will walk over there to see where he's situated. And um, he gets his private room. It's connected to all the sensors, and uh, people are watching closely. And we'll still check on him like every three hours for diapers and... Um, test his blood sugar. So after we go see where he is, we're gonna come back over here and we can like pack up and go through all the discharge and then take our stuff all over there and get, um, make a new little home over there. It, it's got a pull out couch, does not have a bathroom in the room. Uh, over here, if you leave um, the building or like the driveway, you aren't allowed back in. So like ever or something. I'm not exactly sure how it works. And I also don't think security is doing a great job, but uh, over at Children's, we're allowed to come and go. So we can go home and shower or eat and then come back. Well, um, uh, we are very scared and worried, but no one that we interact with seems to be expressing any of the emotions we have. So either they're all on board, like every nurse and doctor we've talked to about not, um, freaking us out or it is what they say it is which is just something that's going to resolve itself um, within the week you know it could be a few days could be a week but he'll probably be over there for days or a week and I think being new parents again or for the first time we'll probably be over there almost all the time so um, it's hard to imagine not being over there so let's see you know um, like I said pretty scary and sad um, we keep getting a little more context from, you know, asking the same questions of different people, and that has been very helpful. Um, it's actually not made anything worse, even though we've, like, talked to, like, ten people. Um, let's see. What else? Am I missing anything? That's about it. He's super happy, healthy. He's, uh, Kristen has produced a ton she went from like three milliliters to like 15 to last one was like 40 and um, of colostrum, but one nurse said it was milk too. So things are going well. And he gobbles all that up and then he like takes the hit of the formula, like usually downs that like 30, 40 milliliters. Okay, check back soon.